My name is Pam Noakes. I'm the Executive Director of National Association for Girls and Women in Sport, which is a national association of the American Alliance for Health, Physical Education, Recreation, and Dance. I've been involved in sport for um, all of my life since I was about a college-age student, and that's part of the interesting story. Um, when I was in middle school, I um, had to take a swimming test to get into the deep end of a pool, community pool, and I took the test. And when I was taking the test, after I took the test, the man who was uh, in charge said to me, oh, you're really a good swimmer, you should come out for the swim team. So my mom brought me back another day when there were practices, and I was probably in sixth or seventh grade, and uh, we came to the pool, and as I pulled up to the pool, there were... Um, 40 or 50 kids in the pool and they were all swimming laps back and forth and forth and back and I stood in the, sat in the car and I said, oh my gosh, I can't do this. I, I, you know, I'd never be able to do this. And I refused to get out of the car ultimately and my mother had to take me home. That was my first introduction to organized sport, which is really hardly an introduction, but um, until that time I had, we were very involved in playing outside, being involved in the outdoors, climbing trees, playing games, um, very much a tomboy, typical tomboy kind of person. But I did not come back to sport until I was a freshman in college again. I played a little bit of sport in high school, but wasn't my passion. And um, when I got to college, I had to take activity classes. And I, so I said, well, let me take swimming. I'm good at swimming. I'll just do that quickly. And I took a swimming class, and the swimming teacher happened to be the swimming coach. So she said, you're a good swimmer. Why don't you come out for the swim team? So I said, well, what the heck? Let me try this again. I did. And that experience, that decision, this time with a little bit more energy and commitment, um, really changed my life, changed the future of my life, changed the course of what I do today. Um, I made the swim team, became a part of the swim team, was definitely a beginner, didn't know much of anything, was swimming with some very accomplished people. Um, we participated in the AIAW Nationals at Arizona State University, and that was the first really key experience for me in terms of large organized sport. Uh, I was a student at Kent State University. We were practicing in the pre-dawn, in the late hours, in the old pool, and you know, struggling with some of the financial issues. Um, had a good coach, had a good team. And when it came down to the end of the season, and we actually had qualified for nationals, the school said, um, well, we're sorry, we don't really have enough money to send you to Arizona from Ohio. And we, we couldn't believe it. And we said, how is that possible? We have all these good swimmers and we can't go. And they said, well, if you can raise the money, you can go. So we did what we did in those days, which was, you know, bake sales and brownies and um, selling things and trying to raise money to get all of us to Arizona. And of course, we didn't raise enough money to get all of us to Arizona. But by the good fortune of the staff that was at Kent State University, a woman named Winona Vinoy was the recreation director at Kent. And she and her husband had a motor home. And she said, if you really want to go, my husband and I will take you and we'll drive you down to Tempe. So we were, of course, 18 and 19. We had no idea what that meant. We're like, sure, great, no problem. 13 of us piled into a motorhome and we drove from Kent State University, left there in a big snowstorm, drove and drove and drove and drove and drove, got to Arizona State, looked at the motorhome and saw a place I had never seen before like Nirvana, sun, outdoor pool, uh, Olympians in the pool swimming in the same water that I was swimming in. It was unbelievable, totally out of my realm of understanding altogether. Um, and that was the real start for me. We did all right for the team that we were, um, but the experience was important. Came back, drove all the way back to Ohio, got there, and I thought, okay, they're going to say something now. They're going to know that we did this. And there was not a thing, nothing in the newspaper, nothing in the department, nothing. Um, I was a journalism major. So I said, well, I have this skill set, so let me do something about this. And we started a campaign in the Daily Kent Stater, which was the paper, to talk about what the experience was as a female athlete 
um, at Kent and that um, the experience of coming back after having reached such a high level of competition uh, was really um, minimal at best at Kent and there should be uh, some sort of better acknowledgement at that time. Uh, I continued through the four competitive years of teaching, of coaching and swimming and later became uh, the coach for a year and later then moved on to my graduate work, all resulting from the connections that I had from that very initial swimming experience. Um, and since then I have always worked in some type of sports setting, whether that be in a school or whether it be in a community program. But that experience has always shaped that no matter what my job was, specifically a piece of that job was going to be dedicated to girls and women in sport. I'm fortunate now to represent an organization that has 111 years of history uh, advocating for girls and women in sport. It was certainly nothing I ever intended when I started out on this path, but um, it is the sport experience for me has definitely changed my life. Uh, has changed the experiences that I have had, has definitely changed the experiences that my daughter has had, who went to school on a scholarship, who is now a vocal, young, active woman and supporting the very same things that I feel to my core. So I see that we have a, we've come a long way, but we have a ways to go, and I'm looking anxiously forward to how we all do that.